it's Faye. Oh my god, you cannot believe what you're about to see. Y'all fake. Y'all didn't tell me the truth about how bad I look. How did I survive social media? Today we're gonna react to the old hey it's Faye. A lot of us can relate, but I don't know because I'm not relatable anymore. I dissociate with the person I used to be. Oh, I really was troubled with self-identity back then, so I think that reads a lot into the old me. Brace yourself, this is horrendous. I know this is self-deprecating. I'm gonna be making fun of myself along the way. Disclaimer, it's fine. It's just me. Don't suggest therapy. Also, before we start, like this video if you want my boyfriend Alex to react to my old photos. He has not gotten the full 360 deep dive on the old Hayes face. All he knows is this face. He doesn't know that face. <laughs> A little background, these photos began in the late caveman days. I have not evolved. Back in 2014, this! I like, I think I look okay here. Dude, I was so desperate. I was so desperate for a dimple that I would shadow dents in the face. This is Circle Lens Town. If you're Asian, back then was a Circle Lens Dice! <laughs> Why did I pen my hair like that? I look like a young wife in an arranged marriage and I'm trying to find myself as a young mom. <laughs> I look like a troll ready to go on a date. This was like the Hyona inspired makeup look. Why did I smile like that? I'm out here looking like a mantis. This is the moment I got stood up. She's looking very sad. She's looking very awkward. Clearly braces done a lot to me. This is when I didn't have braces and my mouth just protruded. My jaw is so tiny and narrow. It like literally points out. I had an overbite. My mouth couldn't fully close. Still to this day, I don't really close my mouth. She's cute and dainty here. I feel like I kind of look like her in that picture. Girl. You can see the biggest difference is my mouth area. Because I have that overbite, my tongue would naturally lay on the bottom of my mouth like this. I had a lisp. Clearly, the person who bullied me in middle school and mocked my lisp was right all along. Green circle lanes going on, heavy makeup, airbrush. All right. <laughs> These were like the crazy contact lens days. I look scary and scared. Wow, okay, next. <laughs> I could not even do the fish face because my teeth and my jaw, it was crippling. It's so funny how old I look compared to now. Like, I am coming to get you. I'm a bite your tongue off if you saw a girl like this at the club you better run i am so happy i'm not canceled bang bang she was huge at this time so i diy the sh out of myself hot glued everything on nowadays this is probably not the best look to go for but back then i was inspired i wanted to recreate eyebrows how are you guys just gonna let me walk around with two thick caterpillars uh, this is when the ombre lips were so in. I use color paint where you spray in your hair and clearly it's all over my forehead. No one was gonna tell me, huh? <laughs> She's a little mochi. Like her face is so plump. My lips couldn't close. If you just look at it, it's kind of like- I'm doing this. When I smile, my tongue would press against my bottom teeth. So I thought this was normal. But it really looks like I'd be doing Okay, at least the eyebrows are a little thinner here. Like, I'm so proud of my BH Cosmetics. I bought it on my own. I don't know how my makeup was able to sit on top of my pimples and my acne like that. Literally, I want to scrape my face makeup off. Thick. I mean, even my lips. Kylie Cosmetics, who? They invented them lips. <laughs> Why? I still look like her. No offense. No offense, Faye. Ooh, with those eyebrows, though, girl. Crying, but smiling. Oh, I once like... <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I had to layer that black eyeshadow to make it look straight? That took like one fifth of my forehead. I look sad. Just very concerned. Look how tiny my lips were. These are my natural lips. But back then, because the construction of my jaw and my mouth, it made my lips look so teeny wee. Little gumball. I really thought I was looking so cute. <laughs> This is not the first Got7 concert. Sweaty. Throwing my hair back. I'm so fresh in the crowd. <laughs> you like busted. it. <laughs> At least your girl fixed her hair before she took a photo. She's giving mom side eye. Straight up older than I do now. Still searching for love. About to apply for TLC. Isn't that a little too close to your face, Faye? The biggest transformation has to be my lips. I mean, I guess my lips still look the same. How did I get food through my mouth? Smaller than my nose. I'm confuzzled. And why always the green contacts, Faye? I probably couldn't fully afford Pinky Paradise yet. That's where we got our contact lens back then. I mean, I like the gold look. I like the nude lips versus like a bright pink. I guess that counts for something, right? The thing I'm realizing is how much like my weight fluctuates. I started getting into those spray pink color things in your hair. I mean, I guess she's okay. Just a tea for me. Okay. Who was I trying to impress? Honest question, Faye. <laughs> 
my nephew at the back looking like a doofus i just feel like i didn't know who i was even i'm looking at her i'm thinking who are you don't really think i grasp who or what i really looked like yet clearly again with the hair paint oh my god you know who i look like that guy from the hunger games the host he is me me is he cut my bangs we're like chokers would not fit me so i took shoelaces and i tie them around my neck you guys never knew I started to get into dark lipstick. I mean, look, my teeth looks fine here. I think it's the composition of my jaw that's like an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I cringe at myself way too hard. I skipped my own university graduation for this day. I'm going to this meet and greet in Canada. <laughs> I was out of the house thinking she was a walking fashion piece. All that was walking was my camera toe. At least my posing advanced. <laughs> this has got to be one of my favorite parties. <laughs> I mean, I see where I was going with the outfit. Why were my feet like that? Who told me to stand up there on a rock? And I probably told myself. <laughs> I even had light on shoes. So cool when they came out and this brand sent me a pair. I'm a light on my shoes. You have to manually turn them on. Stood there looking like I need to take a poo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I look so much older back then? Wow. I'm just appreciating my looks today, guys. You never know when that may go away. Hey, like you can tell I airbrushed the freak out of my face. I picked a Geo cover and did her look. She's so cute. I think I'm cute. This photo I like. So here we're approaching Faye's identity crisis. I know I'm not pretty. I know I'm not skinny. Dying my hair was the only way. So I thought. You know what they say about girls who aren't pretty? They're funny. I had a personality of gold. So if only I could dye my hair pink, I'd have two things in my back pocket. <laughs> so I went ahead, dyed my hair this pink color that faded so quick. It was like this peach cotton candy color. I feel like this photo looks very anime-esque. I'm an awkward looking being. Okay, I know that. She was getting a little plump now. Heavily bleaching my hair. I like better as a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I went with this look, but this gave me very like K-drama vibe. Was it working for me? Not quite. At least when you look at me, you can think, wow, well, this girl really puts in effort. She doesn't get there, but she puts in a lot of effort. So, cheers. I look like I just saw a ghost. My face is like a ghost. And my acne was getting so bad at this point. If I dunked my face in a puddle of water, the water would definitely get foggy. I would not want to date her. She looks like a red flag. Exhibit A of a me just not really knowing myself. I did explore so much with makeup. Completely look like a different person every single time. My hair was fried, you can tell. I can feel the roots of my scalp right now screaming at me. I am a wannabe. That's that's all it is. I'm a wannabe. And maybe it was my alter ego. But deep down inside, I was the shyest, most introvert person you'd ever meet in person. I literally had no friends. <laughs> she really was walking with two faces. But I was a kind hard to beat if i saw someone like that in the middle of the streets in the dark i will flip and run my ass to the closest police station and report our scary maniac is giving out free hugs and not only are you seeing the weight gain here you are starting to see the thinness of my hair my hair was falling out like crazy i don't have a lot of hair sadly but now we know why i don't have a lot of hair huh my bangs were really fried okay low-key i kind of like this photo like she's cute i think i look better when i look down see don't I? <laughs> What's your angle? This was taken in San Francisco when I filmed with Toyota. I think the Toyota RAV4 was what we were filming for. The timing was not the greatest. I was at my heaviest. I was not confident. And then all of that, like, took a big, big shot on my face. Texture is fine, but you could just really see unhealthy my skin was, along with me and my hair and everything so i was i was at a loss okay i don't know how this got into the mix but i do remember this this was also in san francisco this was for mimi box i had like a meet and greet in town i tried this like copper color but i really just look like chucky she's cute here but that's because half my face was cut <laughs> i really bundled up she's so tiny i mean it's kind of cute the damage it did to my hair holy cannoli <laughs> i really went to my back and laid this out and said take a photo of me i'm so cute Remember, this was the phase where I was getting like really thick and um, everyone was concerned about my weight and my face. I truly recall all the concerns. Thank you very much, everyone. This summer, I went to Korea for the first time ever through Korea Joa. It was so much fun. But then again, this was when I discovered 
wow, I'm really, I really am fat. To me being a size 10, wearing a large, short, stout, and stubby, whether it was said or not, it was known that I was the fat girl. You know, I, I'm working through that. The passive aggressive under jab comments being made. Literally strangers saying things like, you're so interesting to look at. You are pretty. I was in between someone. Do you feel comfortable sitting there? She makes me emotional. I think at this prime time, the height of my YouTube career, given all these opportunities to travel, I was interacting with all these other influencers in the space. Definitely realizing like I am the odd one out. Jabs and comments, passive aggressive comments were more so made from some people I knew prior have briefly talked to and mainly like staff. I look at her and she was just so excited for this opportunity. I really felt uncomfortable. But still, she's cute or whatever. At this point, I barely had hair. Consider that my sideburns growing. <laughs> it was horrible. Oh my gosh, I had a panel with Michelle Fawn and Charlotte. I was shitting my pants. Let's just be real. Crying in the club meeting her. She's like an icon. Promise as well. You can just see the joy in my face. This was one of the first photos when I decided to go get invisible braces. You can start to see my face shape evolve. Evolution finally hit me. She's always been a late bloomer. My teeth was if I had to bite like pizza or something back then, I would not be able to buy pizza from the front. It's kind of funny because people rumor that I've gotten plastic surgery, but I'm like, dude, all I did was get braces. Yeah, you can see my little smile starting to form. Sleepy eyes was a thing back then, okay? Why does it look like I have the worst Karen Babaka ever? Honestly, like you can see how my lips are starting to expand. The teeth are straightening out. Mama Moo was at the background, if you can see. This was the day I interviewed ATs. <laughs> what? What was my favorite? He's like, oh uh, yeah. This is a cute photo. She's cute. Give my long extension. Girl. First beauty brand trip with a more Pacific. And I was the only one who showed a day later. I look a little spooky, not gonna lie. <laughs> Again in Korea. My smile's growing. Honestly, this was like a staple month in my life. Where I started to feel like confident about me and how I looked like and I really didn't care and I was like, I'm pretty the way I am. I started feeling myself. I kind of slowed down on the crazy hair colors. Let my natural hair grow out. So yeah, that was kind of the end of my brace phase. <laughs> and then we headed into my spicy era. Honestly, like not to toot my own horn, but I probably had one of the best glow ups of that time, okay? How did this fade become like this fade? And to that I say, at least I didn't peak in high school. And we're aging like fine wine. At least I don't look like a toe now. I may have in the past, but that was the past. Today's the future. <laughs> Let me know if you one want Alex to react to these older photos. I have more horrendous ones, but more. And two, if you want me to do a reaction to my spicy era. Anyway, if you guys are going through this self identity crisis as well, or if you feel really disconnected and disassociated to your old self, just know you're not alone. It actually helps me heal more because I could really look at that face and envisioning myself now hugging her and telling her that all those things will not matter in the future. You are so lovable. You are so kind. Not every single person deserves you. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye. Even if you try, you wouldn't.